Hello guys, welcome back to Lionheart. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I sure am. I am so excited for what we've got planned for you guys today. I've already gone ahead. We're doing a new style. I've already built everything, but I want to show you guys all the stuff behind the works of building it. So I hope you all enjoy the video. If you do, please make sure to, as always, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well to show that you loved it. But guys, here we go. Let's get started. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here is in order to get this furnace smelter how we want it, I wanna go ahead and map out where I want everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and build it up. So I think we're gonna go with two pillars here like so. Um, let's have, we can have the receiving chests here. So this is what the items, like the finished items will go in here. All right, uh, we're gonna need, We'll make a chest here, or not a chest, but a crafting table. Okay, so we're gonna need some stairs. Bed, get back in my inventory, okay. So let's go like this, we're gonna knock this one out here, place this here for now, and like so. And then, okay, so that's what I'm thinking for that. Go ahead and place that there, that there, this here, this here like so, and the the hopper will be down below. Um, we'll need this coming up the side, so we can do that over here as well. So what we're gonna do here is this back one is going to be the um, coal. So this will be the input, this will be output, and this will be the coal storage, because there's gonna be a lot of hoppers going back and forth, so we'll be just fine when it comes to storage with that thing. Okay. Okay, that's what, uh, that's what I want. That's looking, that's looking good. Okay, and then place this here. We're gonna build this out. I don't know, we might end up replacing these two pillars going up. Um, we might want to have them a little, like a different block, maybe like a, what are those blocks called? What are those wood called? Acacia. Well, it might have acacia wood coming up here, but it wouldn't go with anything else, so we might end up switching it for the dark oak, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but uh, anyway, we're just trying to get a map of how we want this. Okay, so this is input. This is output. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go down... Pull from the bottom here, or no, nope, we have to put in from the side. Okay, so the hoppers, that, that's gonna be a bit of a mess, uh, the hoppers, but we're gonna figure it out. And how are we gonna get this to work like that? Mm -hmm. I think we can make that work, can we? Unless we make this a hopper, oops. We can make this a hopper. And maybe put something over it. Okay, let's try that. So we'll, actually, we'll just leave these here for now. So that'll come out there. Now we want the furni. Be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out. One, oh, rip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go one more. Yeah, that works. That fits perfectly. Okay, and then... Do we want stairs here? I don't know. So this won't end up being a stair. That'll be something else. Um, like so. And then, so the hoppers... For each of these, okay, they'll be facing in. So let me go grab the hoppers. Okay, grab the hoppers here. I actually brought the whole system over here. Not the whole system, but everything I need. Anyway, don't worry about it. Mmm, okay, so these. this is going to be the coal. All right. And, nope, can't have these. I'm used to modded Minecraft. Dang it. You just have anything wherever you want it. So these are going to have to come out. One. Which... Kind of stinks, but it makes getting this system here set up very easy. Bam, okay. That will be a little bit sloppier. Okay, 
So now all of those will come in. We'll do something fancy with blocking this off. Probably have to have a stair here like so, and then come up out in front, which which gives it a bit more depth. So that'll be that's always good. But I don't want to see the hoppers as. Jeez, Louise, can we place the thing thing right? Okay, so then. Okay, so then all those hoppers are in good. All these hoppers are in. Okay, so now we have to come in from the top. I just had a weird idea. We're going to see if it works. Okay, and all those look right. They do. Okie doke. So, I don't know if we want that look to be there. Okay. Let's grab some powered rails. Do we have normal rails? I don't think so. Okay. So, I went ahead and set this up. We're going to have to have a post come up here like so, but we were going to have to do that anyway. So let's get this up here so we know what's going on. Okay, so this is how the input items are going to be coming in. So that's always a good thing, I hope. <laughs> we might want to put like item frames in front of that or something just to hide it. So this one is, oops, not all set up. Let's go ahead break this one so the the input is in so everything that gets smelted by this thing will pop in which is good we're gonna work on getting this bad boy set up which will be tough i'm almost wondering if maybe swapping it would be easier so this is gonna have to be a that'll have to be that a hopper, like so. Nope, that is in the wrong spot. Okay. Would it make sense to put the coal up top and then the input here and the output here? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay, so if we go like this, this is very simple. That is that top chest is set up for it? Yep, it sure is. That's already set up. So this will be coal, and then this can be the input items. Yeah, okay. That actually works out really well. Um, let's come out one more. Come here and here like so. Okay, and we're going to use the minecart method. If you haven't been able to tell yet that we're using the minecart method, well, you might want to, I don't know, do some stuff. Okay, so we're gonna come here, break this one. I've fallen. Okay. Okay, now we need to work on the loading system for this one, which actually could be pretty simple. And what it will allow us to do is use War Raven's tutorial. Now I need to pull that up because it has been a minute since I've seen it. Because we did take a little bit of a break doing this. Give me one moment as I pull that up. Check out this sick deal. 16 comparators for one diamond. So we're going to grab two here and leave two diamonds. Oh yeah. Wait, while we're here. Oh yeah. One diamond for that. Well, let's grab some more. For those, one, two, three, four, we're rebels. We are rebels. Look at that. All right, let's head back to the base. All right, guys, so check this out. We got a really system, a really simple system here. Uh, there won't be any button presses or anything as soon as an item gets thrown. Hmm. No, I guess we can't have that. So we're going to have to actually have a button press here, unfortunately. Um, that stinks. It really stinks because what I wanted to do was to just have it so it automatically all load up and unless, unless, hmm, hmm, give me a second. Okay, so we got a simple method here to get the minecarts launched out. We got the buttons here. They are on the inside 
of the, uh, the here. So we might change that with wooden buttons so that way they're easier to see. But as you can see, you can turn it on, it all works. Okay, so that's how we get the carts originally out. And we're gonna go ahead and use War Raven's design here. Let's see, is he still going by War Raven? Yeah, he is. War Raven Gaming. So let's see, he uses a detector rail and a bunch of comparators. So he is one block out of here, like so. So we're gonna just copy that on both, that way we get it right. Okay, and then he's immediately got a Peter here. He goes up here like that. And then I'm not sure. Oops, broke that one. I shouldn't have. So he's got something here pointing into it. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It might be a redstone repeater. But then he also has dust up here like this. So we'll see if this works. If it is, if this is how he's got it built, man, this is pretty simple. And I could have never figured this out myself. The problem that I'm thinking of is the server. Like, because there's a little bit of lag when it comes to servers. There always is. Um, and I don't know if it's going to be friendly for. Ten there. Did I leave the chests here somewhere? I think I did. There they are. Okay. Oop, the rails. Uh, we need to make the chest, or the carts. Like so, put that in there, not too... Booyah, okay. Don't want to forget those guys. Okay. So, let's say we got that in here. Let's grab, as we can, let's grab some redstone. Put it in here. I'm not exactly sure why this thing is acting like this. I mean, it's staying on for almost too long though. Let's see. It's an infinite loop. What if we have the settings different? I wasn't, dang it, I wasn't ready. Still got that issue with it being an infinite loop here. Hmm, because even if we broke that, that here is an infinite loop. So it's different, because it's grabbing the signal from here and putting it back into here. This is the loop it's in. So how do we fix it? Let's see if that worked. Maybe if we cut it off there. I'm sure it probably won't, but it's worth a try. Uh, we got it. <laughs> was it really just that? Is this even needed? Hmm. I am. So what happens if it doesn't have any items in it? Come here. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, so War Raven, good job, buddy. We'll give you the credit for that one. I don't know what the detector rail is for, though. That could have something to do with it. Let me watch this video, I'll be right back. All right, so his design does work here too, but he uses, oops, he uses a comparator. If we look, I switched that over, and it basically just extends the pulse a little bit longer for this thing to get there. 
we put a delay here on this, it should be even better. Yep, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this on the other side, and as you can see, when that's out, it does stop here. So that is perfect. I'm gonna copy it here, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got both of these working good to go now. So let's go ahead and add in some powered rails. And we're gonna need probably two here, but we don't wanna put them on the inside because they will lock the hoppers. But what this will really help us out and do is just make it more consistent. Because uh, the issue I saw I was having is if I launched it off of the initial button here, it wouldn't actually launch that far. So let's put some of this in here. But with this, it should get up. Oh. Yep, should get stuck there. All right, let's go grab all that stuff out of here. It's good to see that that went all the way around, though. Hey, look, it's Ike. Perfect. Okay, get that back down. And that basically will just help slam it into the, the wall. So we need to go ahead and grab, oh, 13, 2... And I'd be perfectly okay if two got in all the time. I am a little bit interested, though, to see what happens with the end one. Because I'm going to have that powered rail there. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. Let's have a test. Let's have a wee test. So that has to go. This has to go. And then this has to go a block above it so it doesn't power it. That should not lock the hopper. Nope, and it didn't. Perfect. Okay. Had to be sure. And so let's let's have a wee gander. Um We're gonna put one here. Like so. That way it gets it up at the top. So let's go ahead. We're gonna throw something in here we can actually smelt. I don't know what we're going to do. I didn't think this far ahead. All right, so I've got fuel in here. Uh, I got just evenly distributed among all of that. I've got some cobblestone in here that we're going to go ahead and put into this chest here. We can see that's going into the minecart, I believe. I can't see it. Dang it. <laughs> Let's go around and make sure. Okay. Yep, okay, so it's all loading in. That's good. It does take a bit, which is unfortunate, but, I mean, hey, there's a stack already. All right, so the button press. <laughs> Look at that. How's this one doing? Four. So this works. This freaking works, guys. Oh my gosh. It should stop when it's done. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. I got a time I got some time. I'm gonna go ahead and pretty this up. I'm gonna match all of the um, other ones. All of these, the rails over to this one, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I did a little bit of work here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this or not. Hey, come on. <laughs> um, I do, I'm, I am really starting to like how this looks. Um, we're going to go with something like this here, but I don't I don't know. We might need to just bring that in. I wanted to kind of give it like a feel that kind of came up like this on each side, but it didn't really go well. But we're going to have this blocked off here. You'll see the mine carts going back and forth. Uh, I got some iron smelting up in here, and now some cobblestone, and as you can see, this thing is a flipping workhorse, dude. If you got two of these running for a big uh, project, say like you need to smelt up some sand, man, this is this is your go-to. I am in love with this thing already. This is going to make things so easy coming up in the future. But the problem is we can't keep using blocks of coal for this, unfortunately. Um, it's going to... Let's just say, like, there are nine here, so that means that there will be less than eight in each, which means, like, one coal will pretty much smelt anything you want. Uh, but getting coal in the massive amounts of quantity that we need is really tough. 
and plus it needs to filter over the cert like the correct way and it, it's going to be kind of a nightmare if we're being honest um and i'm not actually sure i might have to set up a second minecart here like bring this huh i don't know I might have to. We'll have to see. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this is Sad the Turtle. I'm just kidding. This is Super Turtle. And I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.